Usually on a Javante Davis weigh-in day, Devin Haney got the most to say on social media. But due to the fact that the man got whooped, Devin Haney can no longer use Javante Davis' name to clout chase. Devin don't even want people talking to him on social media. Everybody take a look at Devin Haney Instagram. As y'all can see, the man got zero posts. Devin Haney got no posts on Instagram because he knows damn well every single Javante Davis fan is going to be in his comment sections like, yo, you could have fought Tank except that you lost to Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney is an embarrassment to himself and the sport of boxing. I just thought I'd throw that in there. Fuck the Haney! David Benavidez made way for his debut at 175. The man is going to make a statement tomorrow and he knows every single Canelo Alvarez fan will be watching his fight on Saturday. Praying on David Benavidez's downfall. Let me tell y'all something. It ain't never going to happen. Canelo will forever fear this man. Because he's a pussy, that's why. And earlier this week, Frank Martin went to go get a blessing from his pastor because the man is definitely going to need it. Frank Martin looked like Michael Jackson from Thriller at today's weigh-in. Everybody was saying that Javante Davis was going to have a tough weight cut. Everybody meaning Tank Davis haters, aka Devin Haney fans. Javante Tank Davis came in underweight. Javante Tank Davis made the weight easy. The man weighed in at 133.4. Frank Martin weighed in at 134.4. Frank Martin was looking like a drained skeleton at today's weigh-in. Boy, if you don't... I had Javante Davis winning this fight anyway, five rounds or less. But based off the difficult weight cut that Frank Martin had to endure, I got Javante Davis early. Under five rounds. Tank Davis is going to make easy work of Frank Martin. I don't care what y'all say. This is going to be one of Tank Davis' easiest fights ever. Tank hit that nigga. Boom. And to add insult to injury, to add insult to the man who struggled to make weight, Javante Davis proved how good he was feeling, and the man did a backflip on stage. Frank Martin looked like Michael Jackson from Thriller. Javante Davis was doing backflips on stage. That lets you know how this fight's gonna go. Absolutely. <laughs> Errol Spence say he got six figures on Frank Martin. Let me tell y'all something. If you don't wanna lose your money, do not bet on Frank Martin tomorrow. It doesn't matter if Javante Davis is gonna win. Do not put no type of money on Frank Martin. Cause he's a pussy, that's why. Speaking of clout chasers, the 99 year old top ranked CEO Bob Arum said that he looking to make a Javante Davis versus Vasily Lomachenko fight in November. Bob Arum said, I'm optimistic. The PBC guys are professionals. My team are professionals and we gonna work it out. How y'all feel about that? Do y'all want to see Tank Davis knock out Lomachenko? I definitely want to see Javante Davis to face a boxing knockout Vasily Lomachenko. Easy work for Javante. He ain't like that. Oscar De La Hoya used today's way in as a way to cloud chase off Javante. Oscar De La Hoya tweeted out, Good luck to Javante Davis. The door is always open at Golden Boy Boxing. Ayo, hey, Oscar De La Hoya, bro. Do not get high off your own supply. Javante Tank Davis would never fight for Go to Good Promotions. Javante Davis responded back to Oscar by saying, Them kids still waiting on their money. Them kids referring to Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. Speaking of Ryan Garcia, the man tweeted out, Javante Davis in eight rounds. I strongly disagree. I think that Javante Davis will get Frank Martin up out of there five rounds or less. I'm going to break your jaw. I promise you. Speaking of Ryan Garcia, the man took this opportunity to roast Mr. Blair the Flair Cobbs, the man who just beat up Adrian Broner. A.B., another bum, another beating. A.B., alcoholic beverage. Ryan Garcia posted a video of him knocking out Blair Cobbs at Floyd Mayweather's gym. Ryan Garcia said, Remember when I knocked you out in sparring? Watch the clip at the beginning. That is Blair running into a hook in the first round of sparring. No, my ex never DM'd you. I take it Blair the Flair Cobbs was talking crazy to Ryan Garcia, talking about some girl from the past. 
I'm telling y'all, these females gonna get y'all in trouble on the street and in the world of boxing. But back to Mr. Frank Martin, the man was getting roasted on Twitter, and I'm gonna tell y'all why. Do y'all remember when Devin Haney used to look like this? The reason Devin Haney looked like he was off the walking dead is because he was what you call a weight bully in the sport of boxing. Cutting 25 to 35 pounds just to fight smaller men. Looked like Frank Martin was doing the same thing low key. Another thing, due to the fact that Frank Martin glorifies his muscle, lets me and you both know why the man looked like this at the weigh-in today. Muscle means nothing in boxing. Muscle means nothing in fighting. Just because you got big muscles, just because you look strong as hell, means nothing in the sport of boxing. Y'all gonna see that tomorrow. You're gonna see Javante Tank Davis, a man way smaller than Frank Martin, knock out the bigger muscle man. Soft ass nigga. I bet y'all some of y'all watching this video right now who just got out the joint. Or some of y'all watching this video right now who be in the gym every single day trying to get swole are highly offended by what I'm saying. I'm not trying to offend y'all, I'm just being honest. If you got big muscles, that lets me and you both know how scared you is to fight. Let me tell y'all something. People build muscle out of insecurity. Just because you got big muscles don't mean you are intimidating. It don't mean you are scary. Muscle is a downfall in the sport of boxing. Y'all gonna see that tomorrow. I got Javante Tank Davis by devastating knockout. And no, you will not be hearing Devin Haney call out Javante after tomorrow night's fight. As y'all can see, Devin Haney is hiding from any social media at all whatsoever. And he should. I say they say everything but let's fight. 